guys uh, this is after the recording uh, i have made a poll for which wife you guys want the running gun uh, what if not had the running gun uh, remake or if not i wanted hashira uh, i mean wife hashirama kept the biju and uh, i forgot to mention that it was for the 22nd because i was thinking i was gonna upload this part today part one of the hashirama what if um uh, well the next day on the 21st and i wanted to i wanted to know if you guys wanted the remake of the Rinnegan what if or part two to this sorry if i didn't mention it i apologize it's my fault anywho we'll get right into it now um all the intro Welcome back guys, this is the King of Weebs here and I'm feeling good, I'm about to go out to play football so I'm going to record this real quick and uh, yeah, so this is what if Hashirama kept all the biju before we start, we need some background story for this what if to make sense Tobirama in the original told Hashirama to keep the biju to himself and not share them out because it will just create conflict and conflict yes conflict and conflict yes that, that that's a new phrase don't 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 ask don't ask anywho hashirama this time is actually convinced by madara as well uh, because he actually asked to have a little break to think about it so he took an hour break and <clears throat> madara said it would be better because if everyone has a biju i know the power would be equal but if they do come together they might even go against the leaf even if we keep the nine tails it doesn't mean that the nine tails will cooperate when we need its help or if the others are able to <clears throat> get their help the help from the other biju this is really dangerous hashirama so please listen to your younger brother if I were you, I would keep the tail beast to the leaf. And Hashirama actually decides that he should keep it because he got persuaded by both Hashir uh, both Madara and Tobirama. And <clears throat> so he just wants to ask for a peace treaty, but most villagers say no, except for the sand. The sand thinks about it, but of course they go back to the respective villager villages. Uh, of course, anywho, now we begin our story Here, um, because all the Biju are in the Leaf Village uh, They will be put into new vessels after, uh, well, the new generation In the new generation, the new generation, Naruto's generation will have all the Tail Beasts Here, unfortunately, we will have Tsuki, but she will be a Huga, not an Uchiha Yes, she will be the Huga uh, <clears throat> holder of a tail beast and uh, yeah so of course Naruto is born the nine tails have actually been extracted Naruto wasn't meant to have a tail beast uh, just saying <clears throat> uh, I did make a poll um, afterwards I, I mean I will make a poll afterwards for the ship in the uh, Rinnegan what if because I will be remaking that uh, anyway, uh, why am I saying this here? Should, oh, I'm an idiot. Anywho, sorry guys. Uh, <clears throat> of course, Naruto gets the nine tails sealed inside of him. But now we need to think about who has the other tail beasts. Of course, they've been sealed away uh, because they're all uh, they're all older than Naruto uh, by a few days. Even Suki's older than Naruto. Uh, no, uh, Suki's had just born like two three days before Naruto, to be honest, and she got. Uh, a tail beast inside of her <clears throat> so we'll get straight into it uh, well who has the tail beasts of course they will have to be shared out within within the powerful clans <coughs> oh sh Yo, what the hell do I have the corona if I have the corona guys if I die hopefully not don't worry boys I'll come back one of you will a retreat will reanimate me, yeah. Man knows the reanimation jutsu. Anywho. Now, 
Um, <clears throat> the Hyuga clan. We will start with the Hyuga clan. The Hyuga clan are really good Kaijutsu users. And uh, so, uh, since there are two twins in the Hyuga clan, yes, there are twins, Hinata and Suki are actually twins here. And uh, uh, Hinata will get the one tails. Yes, I decided to give her the one tails. And Tsuki, even though uh, the one tails really doesn't have anything to do with Taijutsu, I wanted to give it to her. Then we will go to the two tails. I will cover each tail beast one by one. <clears throat> the two tails is given to the Uchiha clan because of its fire abilities and the Uchiha clan being specialists in fire release. And so Sasuke gets the two tails. Anywho, that's something that I wanted to uh, see Sasuke having the two tails because fire and he's really good with fire techniques, especially with this fire ball jutsu. Remember, he used it quite a bit. Anywho, <clears throat> now we go to the three tails. The three tails is actually given to Hinata. I, I mean, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Sorry. The three tails is actually given to Tsuki. That's what I meant. Tsuki gets the free tails because her <coughs> they just wanted to give her the free tails. I'll explain a bit more. They don't know uh, I don't want to say that they know that she has water release, blah blah blah. That doesn't make sense anyway. The four tails. The four tails actually isn't given to a clan. And it's actually given to this boy. It was, uh, the four tails was actually kept for last. Uh before uh, the four tails was actually sealed uh before all the others. Um yeah. It wasn't even sealed in uh, the Naruto generations, you know. It was given to Lee because Lee. Uh, it was actually because the vessel of the Fortels died earlier than the others. They were all pretty old, just saying. They were elders, and of course, uh, he died before, so they needed a vessel ASAP. And of course, Lee was the best person to be the vessel because uh, he was pretty much a newborn and uh, yeah don't ask me why and the only reason i'm doing this is because we know lee is the taiji specialist and i want to make i want to give lee some character develop some um, not character development some good she anywho now we go to the five tails the five tails is uh, actually given to <clears throat> choji's clan um of course, Choji will get the five tails, and then we go straight to the six tails, which is actually given to the Nara clan, Shikamaru, because I want Shikamaru to have the six tails. Now we go to the seven, ta seven tails, which is given to Shino, because his clan are specialists in uh, using bugs, and the seven tails is a freaking flying beast. Now, the eight tails. I know this will bring uh, quite a lot of controversy, but I decided to give the eight tails to drum roll, please. Sakura Haruno. Yay! She's getting love. I know this will bring a lot of controversy with um, um, you lot because you guys all hate Sakura for some reason, but. You guys have given me new eyes. Well, one of you guys. I'm uh, uh, sorry if I forgot your name, but like uh, on stream, someone told me that the Haruno clan has frost release, which I thought was BS too at first. And I'm pretty sure probably 99% of you are going to be like, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. But I did some research. Man went on fandom and, every fa fandom and everything, yeah. And man searched the thing up and he says, Haruno clan has frost release. In fact, I'd put a screenshot right now. Yeah, so don't come at me, go at Kishimoto for giving this BS, which I even, I, like, bro, I study Naruto fam. I don't, like, uh, I'm not like Seth the programmer, my guy has a PhD on him, but like, bro, you could say I'm one off of a PhD. I failed my last level year because I didn't know this shit or because this is all BS. I don't understand this. How do like if she if if the what, what like what, explain why why does the Haruno clan have frost release and ice release but then Sakura is there with nothing? 
We don't even like half the half of my fans probably don't even fucking know the, the oh sorry. Half my fans probably don't even freaking know her chakra release fam. Who is this? Yeah, so I'm giving her the octopus. The octopus. You guys may know him as the octopus. Yeah, so yes. The eight tails is with Sakura and uh, you all know that Naruto will get the nine tails. Of course, the nine tails was always going to be with the Anuzumaki clan member because no other clan has enough chakra to keep the nine tails uh, at bay. And I know some people might say, well, if the leaf village has all the tail beasts, what's going to happen when the cards come around? And I know uh, that's for later, but I already have a plan for it. Yeah, a few people might have to die. Um, uh, maybe two key might have to unfortunately but you never know i have a plan for everyone to survive maybe maybe wait should i make everyone survive maybe i don't know anywho so now we begin our story our story begins with naruto being bullied by everyone for having the nine tails and naruto knows he has the nine tails he he's been told everyone knows all the kids and uh, they hate the nine tails more than any other tail beast because the nine tails has actually tried to annihilate the whole entire leaf village and kill the fourth naruto doesn't know about his parents but he knows that the fourth okage sealed the nine tails um, away in him and he hated him for that he never knew his mother he never knew his true father he never knew his father was the uh, the Fofo Kage who believed in his son, that's the only reason he sealed the nine tails inside of him. And just saying, Naruto uh, will have the yin side, not the yang side, because I will want uh, something to happen with Naruto. Anywho, Naruto is now getting bullied at the age of four. And here, Naruto is pretty much a prodigy, first of all. And uh, he took a bit more from Minato instead of Kushina. Like, I know a lot of people say, Hey, yo, why, why are you bullying Kushina? Why are you saying she's dumb in that? Like, uh, have you seen that she was one of the strongest Kunoichi in that? Like, I know some people have said that to me, but like, come on, guys. She's dumb. Move. Anywho. <laughs> yo. L l let's not talk about what I just said there. Yeah, so like, Naruto pretty much hated himself and everyone else. No, not not really himself. He hated pretty much everyone in the village. And uh, one day he was actually getting beaten. Not even bullied. Man was getting beaten and everything from kids, teenagers, adults. They were all beating him up, yeah. Until two people actually came to save him. Two people that were actually quite loved by others. And these two people, well, these two were... Tsuki and Lee. Yes. Lee actually never liked anyone getting bullied. And he pro uh, he pretty much uh, was bullied himself. Because they thought that he was a failure. Because he wasn't able to use uh, any chakra or anything. And uh, Tsuki was hated by her clan. Because she wasn't a prodigy like uh, <clears throat> Hinata. And, and they realized they did a mistake by sealing the one toes in Hinata. And uh, the three tails in Tsuki, the show gave the three tails to Hinata and the one tails to Tsuki because, because Tsuki, uh, well, Tsuki is the weaker one here. And uh, yeah, so Tsuki is not a prodigy, just saying. I know a lot of you uh, have actually enjoyed the change with Tsuki. And I shall be making new characters. Tsuki might be forgotten, but she won't be replaced. She might be taken off of what ifs. But it's not, it doesn't mean she's being replaced. Okay, she is being replaced. Anywho, soon, soon. I know a lot of you might be like, no, don't do this. But, okay, I'm not going to do it. Anywho, uh, why am I saying? Why am I so stupid? Anywho, Naruto uh, thanks them for helping him. And uh, they say, you're welcome. There's no need to thank us. They deserve it. They, you, they, you don't deserve to get bullied for no reason. Only because you have the nine tails. It doesn't mean anything. Well, look, we have... To your beasts, I have the three tails. Uh, I have the three tails, and I have the four tails. Well, uh, they say it one by one, and the Naruto's like, "Wow, so, so you you guys have friendly tail beasts, and uh, they're like friendly. We 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 haven't 
really got to know our tail beasts yet but according to some people they weren't the, like the old vessels weren't really hated and the tail beasts weren't that bad while i'm not sure about yours because what we've heard that what we've heard is that the nine tails was pretty much the worst tail beast you have because he's really annoying and he pretty much makes you hate everyone everyone and basically Naruto's like oh it is what it is and uh, he kept going with his life and that that's the only oh, oh, that's the only time he actually met these two they didn't really become best friends um until they were actually six two years after Naruto actually um became a shot in for two years until the Hokage realized that Finally, the Hokage realized, uh, like, I'm not trying to hate on Hiruzen, but you left a four-year-old to start living on his own. Like, are you skunked? Bro, I might be stupid, but I ain't that stupid. Whatever, I can't be asked. Anywho, <clears throat> Naruto met them again, and uh, they were actually training this time when Naruto met them. And just saying, Naruto has been training on his own over these past two years in his house, but he's been a shot-in, so... He's really not good with socializing. He never was and he will never be. Because it is what it is. Anywho. Naruto um, tries to actually walk away. Because he doesn't want to disturb them. He thought that they were like. They liked each other because they hung out so much. And he doesn't want to be like f the third wheel. And he was walking away until they noticed him. And they say. Hey you. Aren't you Naruto? And Naruto's like. Oh. Hey. And they're like, oh, we haven't seen you in two years. What happened to you? Like, did you just disappeared out of nowhere? And basically, Naruto says, oh, I isolated myself from society because I don't want to get bullied again. And yeah, so I'm sorry. I better get going. Um, I don't want to disturb you guys. But then they actually dragged him and said, hey, wait, wear these and start training with us. Two more people are coming. Our friends, Choji and Shikamaru. And basically, Naruto's like, huh? Wait, what? More people? Oh no. And just saying, Naruto's not knuckleheaded. He's more like, a bit more like Hinata, that he's uh, not good with other people around him. And then, the Jinjuriki of the five and six tails arrive. Of course, the five tails is Choji, and the six tails is Shikamaru. And uh, yeah, so they he say hello, Naruto's like, oh hey, and in this what if, Shikamaru, um, unfortunately, and fortunately, has to be a woman, a woman, understood, a woman, shall I say that again, a woman, yeah, so, she's a female, Shikamaru is a female, uh, I think I said he before, I'm sorry, didn't mention it before, anyways, Shikamaru said hello, and uh, they all started training together until Naruto actually had to go now because he was feeling really uncomfortable. And Shikamaru found an interest in him because he looked pretty cool. And uh, of course, um, Naruto really didn't like Shikamaru, but he was more interested in Tsuki because Tsuki was like really kind to him. Uh, especially because she saved him from bullies and then Naruto on his way home he actually got attacked and he actually got attacked by ninjas this time not even normal civilians civilians actually joined in afterwards uh, there were actually two tuning who were pretty strong for their level uh, for tuning they were actually really close to joining so they started attacking Naruto and villagers actually joined in and Naruto left this by actually uh nearly killing a villager and uh injur badly injuring the tuning because naruto at first he was just taking it but then once the tuning actually gave him a deep cut and then stabbed him he actually went on a rampage and nearly killed well first uh the one of the one of the villagers actually shoved the kunai even further into naruto not pulled out and what he did is that he actually sliced uh, through his uh, chest and then he went to the tuning that actually stabbed him in the first place and literally pff, kicked his chest into the ground 
and Magai, he could barely breathe. And yeah, so Naruto had pretty much gone on a rampage and then basically he ran away and uh, this was the breaking point for Naruto. Naruto was at home and uh, Hokage was like, what happened? Because he was called here too and he saw the nearly dead uh, villager and the, the pretty much, well, the villager was about to die but then he got medical, uh, atten med medical attention which was pretty good that he survived. But the tuning was pretty much uncurable and uh, he died and Naruto really didn't care. It was his first ever kill and uh, like bro, the tuning deserved him. Like he was the first one to attack first of all. And the Hokage, well the villagers were telling him, Hokage, that kid attacked us from nowhere. And these two tuning were helping us. I don't know what happened. And the Hokage is like, do you really think I believe that? Naruto's not that kind of person. I don't think I'll believe someone who has always been attacking Naruto and plus Naruto is not the type of boy to actually attack for no reason. If he attacked you guys it must have been because you guys attacked him first. There are multiple Anbus who have watched this fight and actually told me to come here and stop him myself because they don't want to get crucified by you guys first of all. Anywho, gotta go find Naruto. If the Anbu were telling me the truth, Naruto must have got injured. And here, the Anbus just didn't want to help Naruto because they hated Naruto, first of all. It wasn't like one of those kind Anbus, but it is what it is. And the, uh, the Hokage actually cared about Naruto. And after this, uh, well, well, word spreads pretty fast. Like, word spread all around the village about Naruto. Well, it was actually a rumor about Naruto attacking villagers, but once he actually came to the air of Tsuki, Shikamaru, Choji, and uh, Lee, they actually all uh, knew that this is not true. Naruto was literally going home, and he must have got attacked because Naruto is a gentle soul. He's not the type to attack uh, villagers, especially people who are weaker than him. And uh, since he has been training on his own, like when Naruto actually arrived, it was actually on literally stronger than all of them uh, because he's been training on his own especially in charcoal control because his charcoal was disgustingly bad and the inside really didn't hate Naruto he only did it to annoy him because he just felt like trolling yes the Nantos is a troll anyways Naruto goes home and he started crying on his bed while he was bleeding and he said maybe this is for the best I'll finally die Right? I hate you, Kage. It's all because of you, fourth. And basically, he was breathing heavily and literally on the brink of death until basically the Nines was like, This kid, if you only knew the truth. And basically, what he done is that he actually used his uh, chakra and Naruto felt this chakra coming out of his wound and he started healing him. And he's like, No. What's going on? Why am I getting healed? And now, basically, Naruto's like, Don't tell me it was you, you damn fox! Do you know how much hate I've been receiving because of you? I don't even know if you can hear me. But, just let me die! Why did you heal me? I don't understand. And basically, Naruto, uh, at that point, like, from the pain, he actually... Uh, fainted because he wasn't like he was about to pass out because of blood loss but now that he got well he got healed the pain that he had uh, literally knocked him out anyways uh, Naruto then woke up in his mind somewhere that he's never been to and uh, him adding one plus one is that uh, he realized this must be a dream no this either this is either a dream or somewhere inside of him and then he walks around and uh, there is only one way he keeps walking forward and then there was this little tunnel where he walked past well he walked through and then once he got out light struck his eyes and then he saw a massive cage in this cage he saw an eye Naruto really didn't get startled because he's really not scared but he's like don't tell me he must be the nine tools and then basically the nine tools was fully shown because uh, he actually got closer and said 
so kid I guess he finally found where I am and basically Naruto's like you damn fox why did you heal me I didn't need your help I should have died then and basically then the Naruto said listen kid you don't understand the fourth and then basically Naruto says don't you even dare say that name the fourth Okage what you're about to say you don't understand how much I hate him I want to kill him and now basically Naruto's eyes basically went to the you know Naruto uh, in the waterfall you know when Naruto hugged his uh, hatred yeah Naruto was literally in full hatred mode and uh, his eyes were red and looked black and he's like don't you ever talk about the Fufu Kage in front of me because of him because of him him because of him I've been going through all of this don't understand my pain, Ninetales. You don't. And basically, the Ninetales are like, just listen to me, you damn brat. Do you really think your bloodlust is anything compared to mine? And basically, the Ninetales expected Naruto to actually, like, literally fall to his knees after feeling his bloodlust. Because even though he's the inside, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have any hatred towards anyone. And he does, especially to Madara, and he lets out all the hatred. And uh, Naruto re literally s retaliates with his own bloodlust. And uh, the Naruto was like, What? How are you not on the ground? You should be pleading for your life by now. I don't understand. And then Naruto says, I've lost fear. I've lost fear a long time ago. In fact, it was when I was first born. After I've got you inside of me, I don't think I'd ever be scared of you ever again. And plus, after all the things that have happened to me, do you really think I'd be scared of anyone by now? I've gone through near-death experiences all my life. I've been bullied, I've been abused. M my own friends, I feel like they all hate me. Every time they talk to each other, they, f they just fake it, don't they? They all think that I'm their friend, but in reality they just hate me. I don't believe them. I don't believe that they are my real friends. And then basically, uh, the Naruto was like, "You damn brat, just let me speak for once." And basically, Naruto was like, "Shut up." And since Naruto already had the one plus one saying that, "Okay, he's inside of me," that means this is this must be my mind. I could do anything, right? So. As soon as the Nine Tools says, just listen to me, Naruto says, shut up. And basically, what he done is that he, you know the deity gates, you know what Naruto did uh, against the Nine Tools when he was saying, you, you've never done anything good, you let them, you let your own friend go away, Sasuke, you never bring him back. And basically, you know, Naruto, uh, he stopped him from talking and said, I'll come back for your hatred, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, character development doesn't make sense for me, but uh, it's plot armor, blah, blah, blah. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so he done the same thing and said, Sharp, you damned fox. Let me sleep now. How about you go sleep forever and never speak to me again? And basically, Naruto's walking away, and the Naruto was like, This kid, he's not the same kid as before. I remember when he was just a child, when he was two or three. He used to just play around. Even the third Hokage used to play with him. If only the third Hokage was naive enough to actually let a four-year-old on his own, maybe Naruto wouldn't have changed. I don't blame the third. I mean, he has too many things to do. But whatever. This kid is unreversible. It's too late. He's going to get himself killed like this. There's no way I can help him. Or is there? And basically, the Nantos by now, he was literally contemplating between giving up on Naruto or actually helping his vessel regain well, his true self because the Nantos can see a kid Naruto pleading for help inside of the hatred Naruto, well, the Naruto right now who pretty much hates everyone and the kid Naruto is like please let me out of here basically uh, Naruto's true side is uh, trapped in a cage like a bird and uh, it's plead well he's pleading to let him out he wants to get out, he wants to change himself because everyone, uh, well, uh, everyone thinks he's an ego, well, uh, not ego, I was about to say egotistical, but everyone says that, uh, thinks that he is evil and uh, bad, but in reality, this is all because um, the true him, the true self, uh, the true Naruto 
has basically isolated himself and um, over time he went crazy and he thought everyone used to hate him and even his friends, his true friends, Suki, Lee and now Choji and Shikamaru, Shikamaru who's interested in him and uh, Suki is interested to you, I'm not going to say who is going to be tricked with them this way because this is my choice but it is what it is, I'm not really sure I need to think about it because I added Suki, if Suki's here, I might as well just ship her with Naruto, right? Who knows, anywho. Naruto now is uh, now cut the link between him and the Ninetales and he was going, well, he actually woke up to see himself uh, next to the Hokage. The Hokage was there, Naruto, I'm really sorry for what happened to you. And unfortunately, w one of the tunings you have attacked. He passed away and not says unfortunately really do you think that's unfortunate after him trying to kill me dying himself you think that's unfortunate is it unfortunate that I have no one is it unfortunate that I've nearly died multiple times when I was a kid is it not I'm not only six and I've nearly died multiple times I'm pretty sure I've gone through more near death, death experiences than you Hokage just what do you think you are only because you're the Hokage doesn't mean you can dictate everything. If only I had parents. If only no one hated me. This village. I don't want to stay in it anymore. Hokage, get me out of this village. I'm sure there's another village who would love to have me as their <clears throat> Jinjuriki. After all, we have all of the nine tail beasts. Why do we have to keep them? Can another village have me? Can another village take me in? I'm sure maybe even the sand would take me in. Just let me leave. And basically the Hokage is like, no Naruto. We cannot allow you to leave. It's too important. And then basically Naruto's like, what do you mean it's too important? Is it too important because I hold the nine tails? Does that mean you would give up any other tail beast except for me? Then you'd keep me here when everyone hates me and loves every all the other tail beasts? Do you really think I'm that stupid? You're only doing this because you're too scared that the other villagers will use me. As their own weapon to destroy you and take all the tail beasts, aren't you? And basically, the, uh, the Hokage is that Naruto, calm down. You're just, you're not thinking straight, are you? And basically, Naruto's like, how can I think straight after all the things that have happened to me? Do you really think I can think straight after that? Would you think straight after being hated for literally all your life and then being nearly being killed and still accused? Of attacking people who attacked you. So. What would you say huh. Kage. Would you just take it in. Be like oh. It's just human knowledge right. It's just human nature. To blame someone else. Is that what you would say. So Hokage. Answer me. Answer me you damned old man. You don't understand my pain do you. And basically the Hokage is like. I'm sorry Naruto. Please forgive me. It's my fault. I let you live on your own from a young age. I was being I was being stupid. I had kids of my own and I was being naive. Please Naruto. I'll adopt you. Come come back to my house. How about Naruto? Would you wanna? And then Naruto says, huh, Do you really think I don't hate you either? Do you think I would go back to with you? You know how much I hate you, right? After all the things that happened because of you. If you just let me stay in the first place, maybe I would not have been hated that much. But I guess it is what it is. This world just doesn't want me to live in here. The universe hates me to be honest. There's no point on me staying in this village. I might as well just kill myself. Now get out of my house. After all, you let me live on my own for a reason, right? To be independent. I don't need any of you. Go away. Leave me alone. This is my house and you will leave now. I have authority here. You don't, you, even if you're the Hokage, it doesn't mean you can just stay in here. Pay rent if you wanted to stay in here. You gotta pay. Now go away. And basically the Hokage now realized that Naruto has gone through too much. And uh, it's pretty much uh, kind of impossible to return him to normal. And uh, especially, and he blames himself because he's the one who made Naruto live on his own for literally two two years yeah two years and uh, now he's really sad that Naruto's got turned out like this and 
he wants to apologize but Naruto doesn't want his apology because he hates him and the Hokage says okay I'll come back the next morning and Naruto's like shut up you're not coming here I won't let you in if you do I'm killing myself understood go away now and basically the Naruto's inside is like this kid doesn't understand the third Hokage is trying his best does he not see it does he not see the third Hokage helping him all this time what <sighs> this kid is blinded by hatred I need to help him there's no way I can leave him alone and basically now the Naruto's like I have to help Naruto like it's the only way because like Naruto is literally gone like he's not himself anymore it's impossible to return him to normal if the Nantos doesn't do something himself and tells him the whole truth because the Hokage isn't telling him the full story of what happened six years ago and basically the Nantos is trying to actually talk to Naruto so uh, it's basically taunting Naruto and telling him that uh, to speak to him he needs he has something really important to tell him and uh, if he tells him he will understand why the Hokage is doing this and blah 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 and why the fourth Hokage actually do, it did this and Naruto's like do you not know why I, do you not know I already know that the fourth Hokage did this because he he thought that I would be the best vessel because I'm an Uzumaki I already know that you idiot don't speak to me you damned fox go away just leave me alone and basically Naruto now literally is shedding tears and telling him telling everyone to just leave him alone let him be let him be himself and what Naruto doesn't know is that this is not himself and this is someone else this is all the hatred built up inside inside of him and it's really sad that Naruto is gone like this and the, the Naruto's blames himself and for not coming out and telling Naruto earlier at a young age when Naruto even though he was young he wouldn't understand fully but he wouldn't go fully rogue like he is right now like Naruto isn't himself like bro you, you guys know how Naruto is Naruto would understand straight away like if something happened to him like hey yo it's all good bro you punched me it's all good hey bro you stabbed me it's all good like bro my guy Sasuke shoved the Chido Chidori in his inside him and he's like alright cool bro I'm coming back to get you bro like give me like two years to train yeah and I'm coming back don't worry bro my best friend you stabbed me you tried to kill me you tried to kill me multiple times you tried to kill my my crush but it's fine bro you're still my best friend but like what the fuck bro how are you gonna say sasuke is your best friend but then you're gonna be like ah oh, shikamaru is one of my one of the best friends i've ever had but not my best friend of course sasuke is my best friend he tried to kill me he's my best friend definitely yeah that logic didn't make sense and he's still pissing me off to this day like how did sasuke do this bro like what kind of juju magic did he have to use to make naruto love literally freaking love him like that bro like that ain't normal bro that's some juju magic right there bro you can't you don't chat to me like oh no this is just plot armor this is literally juju magic don't 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 lie don't, i've been lied to this whole time people were saying that was plot armor this is juju magic anywho now let's stop rambling on and basically uh naruto uh, at, uh, basically he went for a walk at night because uh he was sad and uh, he wanted to be left alone and the only time he could actually go out without getting kind of bullied or trying to or people trying to kill him is at night around like 4 a.m when everyone's pretty much asleep uh, unless drunkies and druggies i'm pretty sure you guys what those are uh, know who those are Anywho, uh, yeah, so Naruto's gone out at that time, and uh, basically, he's met by a masked man. And basically, this guy is Obito, just saying. And he know, you know how Obito uh, has Nagato as his subordinate and everything. Like, he brainwashed Nagato into actually becoming, uh, well, being part of the Moon Eye plan. But of course, uh, he needs some since all the tail beasts are in one place and they're all in the leaf village and the leaf village is pretty much the strongest village out of everyone not only because they have nine tail beasts but because the hokage the third hokage is actually the strongest kage out of all of them and there is no kage stronger than him yes yeah, so he doesn't want to fight the third hokage because he believes that the third hokage would annihilate him and remember this is a bit younger He's actually six years younger here 
and he doesn't want to get freaking destroyed the whole of the Akatsuki would get annihilated uh, remember because uh, like the third Hokage is known to be the god of shinobi because there are only two people that were entitled that well, well had that title and that was the third and the first Hokage because uh, they were the god of shinobi in their era uh, it is what it is so basically uh, <clears throat> Obito needed someone to actually be with him someone from the leaf so, and a tail beast a Jinjuriki to help him in his mission because he doesn't want to actually fail this mission uh, since he wants the perfect world anywho now that Naruto is outside <clears throat> Obito actually knows who the Jinjuriki are and sees Naruto and he's like oh my god is this it is this my chance and basically he goes to talk to Naruto and says hey you kid why are you all alone here is there something that happened to you did someone say something to you why you're not home and he knows that Naruto is the fourth Okaki's son and basically he's like huh, he has no parents let me be like oh why aren't, why aren't you with your parents why are you here at this time blah 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 and basically he's tried to uh, be like oh worried about all worried about Naruto but in reality he's here to take kidnap uh, Naruto and of course no one's here to see it no one could be like oh he's my friend let me go help him because they're asleep they're six year olds they're, there's no way their parents allow them out now 4 a.m in the morning anywho uh, Naruto is like oh, what do you want leave me the frick alone are you another one of those villagers that hates me do you want to freaking die? And basically, uh, Naruto tries to attack Obito, and Obito literally whoops through Naruto's attack. And he's like, So, you think you could kill me? Do you now? Do you know who I am? I am part of the Akatsuki. I am the leader of them. Do you think you can kill me? And basically, he whoops through the attack, and Naruto's like, How? How did you do that? And he'll, he'll remember, he's still a six year old. He's not like, Ah. Yeah, so basically, his technique is uh, to walk through space and time, and uh, his only weakness is when he's about to attack, he becomes intangible. So, uh, I can attack him at that time. He ain't no Minato, yeah, he's still a six-year-old. He might he might know how to do one plus one, but he doesn't know how to do, like, uh, base times, height times, physics times, um, uh, Kamui, yeah, that thing. He don't know that. Anywho, he's not Minato. As I said, he's not Minato. He took a bit more from Minato than Kushina, but he's not Minato. Anywho, then uh, Obito do, uh, says, Hmm, how about you join me, Naruto? I can help you. And Naruto's like, What do you mean you can help me? And, Nar and basically, um, Obito's like, I can help you get revenge on the people that made you feel all this pain. I know how you feel. I was in this village, I was part of it as well. But then. I've been pretty much, ex well, Obito really uh, um, says a lie and says he's been exiled for no reason. That's why he hates this village and uh, he has a grudge against it. Especially because they actually failed in um, uh, doing something that he wanted and they promised as a village that they will do. But of course they didn't do it and uh, uh, he's talking about uh, Kakashi actually failing in protecting Rin. Something that he, uh, Kakashi himself pr uh, promised to Obito. Uh, it, when he was dying and basically he didn't keep the promise and Obito was pretty freaking pissed at that and so yeah um Naruto is like oh really so you're just like me aren't you all right then I understand what do you want me to do you will help me right you'll help me get revenge on the people the people who have hurt me this all this time right you will help me you promised you can't say no now, can you? And basically Obito's like, yeah, of course, I'll help you. What do you want me to do? Of course, you'll have to come with me afterwards. This is definitely not an attempt to kidnap a Jinjuriki. This is all to help you. Uh, remember, I'm your friend, Naruto. I'm definitely not some kind of pedophile. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, Naruto accepts and says, Alright, finally. And basically, he goes with Obito. And Naruto disappears on that night, and the Hokage was worried. He was like, wait, where's Naruto? He's not home. Now that Naruto's gone, the Hokage 
is actually kind of worried. He doesn't know where Nart went and uh, he recalls his conversation with Nart the other day. He said, I wish I wasn't in this uh, country. I I wish I wasn't in this place with you guys. You guys always, you know, his little tantrum the other night. And the Hokage himself is going to go search for him. And uh, he leaves someone else in charge. He leaves he leaves Danzo in charge. Unfortunately, he has to, but it's only for one day. And uh, the Hokage is taking hella shinobi with him. And he's taking the Anbu. He's taking Kakashi. He's taking Guy. Well, oh, he leaves Guy. Well, actually, he takes Guy. He doesn't take all the other Jonins because uh, a few hundred Anbu and... Well, not 100, like around 30 Anbu and Kakashi and Guy and himself are more than enough. And basically, they go search for Naruto. And Naruto is already far gone, not even in the land of fire at this point. He's actually uh, in a different land. I'll say that the Akatsuki hideout for now, since they have multiple ones, they're actually... In, and just saying, Itachi is actually gone to search him, for him as well. And same as Shisui. Now they're actually in the land of lightning. Uh, because uh, Pain was actually there, same as a few other members, Conan, no actually Pain and Conan were there, same as, oh, yeah, so Naruto arrived there, and Naruto is just a little kid, and Nagato, instead of Pain, actually came out this time and said, Madara, guess you're back, wait, hold up, who, who this, yo, hello, and Naruto says, um, uh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, hi and basically obito introduces him says and he says this is naruto uzumaki he's the nantos jinjuriki and he hates his own village just like me i hate that village and i will help him get his revenge on the village by destroying it but inside of him naruto well chroma is like naruto you idiot naruto listen to me listen I can help you get out of this mess. I'll help you go back to your to your home. Naruto, you know what your home is, right? Naruto, listen! And while this was happening, the true Naruto was actually uh, pleading for help at this point. He's like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go against my, con- uh, the, my country, my village. And he's, uh, Kuroma can feel it inside of Naruto. But Naruto is ignoring all of this and is embracing He's embracing the hatred and he's trying to forget all about his past life and now his new life, uh, which is him being in the Akatsuki. And of course, Obito knows that Naruto is full, uh, a lot different from uh, every member of here. Even he knows that Naruto's hatred is far greater than his. Like, bro, Naruto has gone through way too much. He's gone through people trying to kill him and abuse him no one being his friend isolating himself for two years straight him living on living on his own then finding a few friends but all this like in his mind he's like no to talking behind my back i don't want this to happen to me again please and like naruto's literally in a war against his old self his kid self and the nantos trying to turn him back to the village well, to the, to the old self because the Nantos had a little soft spot for Naruto. How every time he said, "Oh, Hokage, one day I'll become Hokage one day," but then once he was actually moved out from the Hokage's home and uh, uh, he lived on his own, the Hokage told him that the true story about the Nantos that he's the Nantos Jinjuriki and the fourth Hokage sealed inside of him. And Naruto, at first, he didn't know how to react, but then after. All the hatred that he's been receiving. After all, um, he finally realized because he was getting older. At four, he realized all the looks. At one, two, three, one, he really wasn't doing anything. Two, he's still at home and doesn't really go out too much and doesn't remember too much about his life. But three, he remembered a lot of happy memories. But then four, he just started going to downhill, abusement, bullying, uh, murder attempts, and then now Naruto is uh, isolated himself uh, after 
a few months living on his own and uh, two years later the Hokage knew that Naruto was always at home and at first is that maybe it's for the best but then he realized that Naruto if he doesn't talk to anyone except for him he's going to go crazy one day or another and so he told him to get out of this home and said go find some friends Naruto go see the outside world maybe it's changed maybe don't all hate you as much and Naruto really was proven wrong and of course he's sad about this because he really didn't hate the village he loved the villagers in fact but it's just that he hated the Fofo Kage and the Fofo Kage's the hatred for the Fofo Kage actually grew in him and turned into hatred for all the villagers and that turned into hatred for, for the whole entire village and that turned into hatred to the only person that actually loved him uh, cared about him which was uh, the third Hokage and then turned into uh, him being delusional thinking that people are actually talking behind his back when they're not and uh, them wanting him to die and some people don't even want him to die for example the third Hokage and Naruto thinks that the third was only, do his, only doing this because he wanted to get rid of him one day or one way or another and he thought this was be, this would be the best way to get rid of him but of course Naruto is wrong and uh, Kuroma knows how Naruto feels because Kuroma used to be one being before he was split in half by the Fofokage, Naruto's father and he understood that his other half must be all of his hatred while this half was left into Naruto even though the Fofokage didn't know about the yin and yang, yin and yang side of Kuroma it just coincidentally happened but it, it is what it is, Naruto's not listening and now basically Conan goes up to him and says I guess you're a shy one, aren't you? And basically Naruto's like, uh, yeah, um, uh, hello, and basically Conan introduces herself. And Nagato actually sees Naruto a bit more like a younger brother. Because Naruto, and just saying, I know some of you may be saying, oh, it's just turned into wife Naruto, uh, joined Akatsuki. It's not, it will be very different, remember. There are other tail beasts. And they're going to be working together from now on. It's not just Naruto having one tail beast and trying to save everyone else in the freaking world. Well, uh, with Tsuki now, Tsuki is really not an interest for Naruto at this point. Uh, he, uh, while Tsuki and Sh uh, Shikamaru are interested in Naruto, but I'm not sure who to pick between them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to ask a few people to think about it. And over time, the ship will happen. Anywho. Naruto has fully given up on his true self and he wants to just turn into the darkness because the darkness is all he saw in the village and in the villagers mind was only, only darkness and hatred towards him so he might as well just turn into darkness himself and hate them and show them that they made a mistake by going against him since he did nothing at all to them and they hated him for no reason and now look what he's turned into but of course this is Naruto and there will be plot and uh, there, there is plot for this so plot armor will come in anywho two years have passed and everyone's starting the academy the Uchiha massacre still happened and Sasuke actually finally awakened the Sharingan but not only that his first ever in uh, well his first ever tail beast cloak transformation thing happened to him because he got pissed off and uh, he was actually on one tails and he was actually starting to have fire around him but then Itachi stopped it straight away. Remember, Itachi, even at such a young age, is um, already S rank. And uh, yeah, so Sasuke really stood no chance. And remember, even with Sasuke having the two tails, yeah, it's like Kakuzu tanked the tail beast one from the two tails. So Itachi is technically stronger than Kakuzu because Kakuzu is not immune to. Genjutsu and uh, yeah so uh, Itachi just using the um, Koto Matsukami uh, uh, man said Koto Matsukami just using the Tsukiyomi easy win anywho now that Naruto has been away for two years uh, the mission to retrieve Naruto has failed but the mission to find Naruto is still ongoing over two years they've been trying their best even ask well, they haven't told uh, the other villages because the other villages if uh, i mean the other villages not villagers villages uh, like the other five nations because if they find out 
a lot of people will be searching for Donato's Jinjuriki and if they do find it they will f whoever finds it they will somehow find a way to turn an eight-year-old kid to a machine for them and there are ways there are multiple ways to do this it's the ninja world anything to, could happen to a kid anywho Naruto in reality he's been training uh, non-stop brutally with pain Conan and Obito at the same time and the recruiting for the Akatsuki has began of course Itachi was already uh, one of them and pain actually went off to recruit people same as Conan uh, so Naruto has actually been left who he was actually left with Nagato who's not Nagato was uh, controlling the pains while he was um, literally kind of dying at the same time because this was not healthy for his body or anything about him uh, anything about having rods on your back to freaking control puppets ain't good you know freaking hell anywho Naruto Naruto was that older brother Nagato what's going on why do you do this every time to control that pain dude after all couldn't you just go and then Nagato's like how could I go and leave my younger brother behind? There's no way I could do that to you, Naruto. And this is just an excuse because Nagato knows the six pa uh, paths of pain have different abilities and him using them on his own, it's kind of different from actually having six people. Six people is a bit better, especially with the shared vision. Uh, it's way better. Anywho, um, Naruto uh, keeps training and the academy has actually began, just saying. Tsuki, now we will skip to Tsuki, Shikamaru, Choji and Lee's perspective. Shikamaru and Choji only met Naruto once but they found him really friendly even though he was a little bit of an introvert and a bit a weird fella if you if you wanna if I if I the best description I can give of what they saw it was that he was a weird fella and he was kind of really a bit of like a shine especially because Naruto not a shine uh, more like a weirdo because he's not used to talking to others and the only reason that happened is because Naruto isolated himself and he actually did they actually asked uh, Tsuki and Lee and they told them that he had actually isolated himself because they hated him and remember the origin Juriki here and they were really sad for Naruto and they would want to help but he just disappeared they don't know where he went but Tsuki and Lee were the more worried ones even though Lee's on a high uh, in a higher year he's not been hanging out with Tsuki as much and Tsuki really had an interest for Naruto because she met him uh, like at four years old and he was a little a bit more jollier you know what I mean a little more happy but now he's gone and she's really sad and she's been the only motivation of, of, for her to become a ninja at this point is to actually find her friend find her lost friend and find out what happened and why did uh, wh where did he go and if he's dead she will find the man who killed him or the woman who killed him and kill her or him herself with her own bare hands strangled to them they strangled them to death while shikamaru was there god damn he was really cute i wanted to go out with him remember shikamaru is a woman here if you guys forgot already and i still don't know who to ship because i want to ship both of them but he can't have two wives anyway <laughs> that's weird anywho naruto is now um training and another four years pass no, actually, yeah, another four years passed, and Naruto ha is 12 now, and all the Akatsuki members are, have been recruited, even Kisame, and yes, so, now, Jiraiya, who has been alerted of Naruto's disappearance, he's still searching, he gave up on Orochimaru, he said, there's no point of finding him, I have more important things to do, so he changed all of his uh, tracking, and uh, everything about his spy network and now they're all about finding the Akatsuki because the spy network knows about the missing child, the missing Jinjuriki and Jiraiya wants to know where his godson is and he wants to retrieve his godson and kill anyone who tried to brainwash him or anything because even though Jiraiya wasn't a good godfather not helping Naruto over these years he still loved him deep inside even though he never met him deep inside he loved him because that's the closest thing he had to a child Anywho, Naruto is now an s rank shinobi, he's actually on par with a lot of Akatsuki members, Hidan, um, not Kakuzu, definitely not Kakuzu yet, he doesn't have uh, the Rasengan either, uh, he doesn't have the Samurai Jutsu, 
He doesn't have a lot of jutsus to be honest. And uh, uh, but he has a no. He doesn't have a lot of jutsus from the original, except for the shadow clone jutsu. But he has a lot of new techniques, which I'm not going to mention now because it's literally a list. Two pages long of techniques, which I don't want to say. And also, he has been training with um, Itachi. And Itachi's initial reaction was like, what the f... What? No. The kid that I've been searching for over the four years, uh, the two years he disappeared before I left, was here this whole time? What the hell? I need to tell the third Okage. And the third Okage was alert and the first was like, God damn it! The Akatsuki... And their goal is to capture all tail beasts. And they already have the nine tails. God damn. If they somehow found a way to use the nine tails against us. We're all doomed. They'll be able to capture all the tail beasts on their own. Oh no. This is not gonna end well for us. We need to retrieve Naruto. And basically, uh, Itachi and the Fertokage were actually planning on some uh, somehow retrieving Naruto. But. It's gonna be hard, especially because the Akatsuki ain't no joke, bro. It, they ain't no joke. It ain't no joke to go up against Akatsuki member. And Itachi would lose against the whole entire Akatsuki, especially because of Pain, and then uh, Obito, and then Kisame, uh, uh, known as the tailless tail beast. And then it's Kakuzu. And then there's an immortal being called Hidan. There's. Bro. Impossible. There's there's no freaking way. Like, Prime Itachi would have 9 out of 10, in my opinion, difficulty on beating the Six Paths of Pain. And him trying to verse Obito, Kisame, Kakuzu at the same time, there's no way. No freaking way. Even the Third Okage would die against them. There's no way the Third Okage could take the whole entire Akatsuki on and not, so, and not die. The, I don't believe that. Even Naruto. KCM Naruto. Not KCM2, KCM1, maybe, because of uh, Kisame's absorbing uh, techniques, Pain's techniques, Conan, and then, yeah, there, there are a lot of things that could happen, especially if uh, Obito gets his way into his head and is able to materialize, Obito's hand will be stuck into KCM Naruto's face, which is an instant kill, anywho, you understand what I mean, anyways. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is where I'm going to end off. I wanted to keep going, but it is what it is. I need to go play football. Anywho, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please take care, stay safe. Please subscribe to Retreat and Miniman123. Follow Shoku on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And join my Discord server. All links are in the description below. And join my Discord server to ask questions for the Q&A. And this is I hope you all enjoyed it. And stay safe, boys and girls. My fellow ducklings, you're dismissed. And please, 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 if you're here, just write stop daddy lord duck, please. It's really weird. I like, I don't know if I have an ego, but it does. It, when I hear that, it, it kind of makes me weird it out. It's like, um, my reaction is really not happy, but at the same time, not sad not angry it's just a bit weird i'm not sure i mean okay i am the lord of ducks but i don't mean you gotta call me that you can just call me rue just call me rue like i'm like your friend anywho peace boys and women and girls and kids bye